Hello, my name is Miss Nelson, and I was recently involved in a practicum experience where I went and gained valuable information at a local high school. Um, there I learned a lot of valuable skills and worked alongside an extremely well-rounded mentor teacher. As a course requirement, I was expected to complete a lesson. Um, according to Aaron's, a classroom lesson incorporates multiple teaching strategies. So in my lesson, you'll see DI, which is direct instruction, and as my professor defines that to be, is just the basic and framework um, of the information that's going to be taught to students. But there will also be aspects of cooperative learning with students as they interact and learn um, with their peers. So throughout my lesson, there was some microphone issues, even though I was wearing a microphone on my chest. So I'm going to give you a rundown of what the lesson entailed. So first we started with a warm up of what national day it was. Um, that day it happened to be memo day. So this allowed the class to start critically thinking and spark discussion. Um, this will create a kind of a smooth transition into the next activity, which involved introducing oneself to the class, or I guess more or less me, I was a new person in the classroom, and just telling one thing they really liked about um, descriptive writing and one thing that was really hard. Um, this was a great reflection not only for me, but also my mentor teacher. Um, after we did this warm up, we reviewed and discussed the basic and fundamentals of descriptive writing with candy. Um, the class worked together to distinguish each of the five senses with their own personal experience that they had with the candy. Um, the class worked together and created a list that would be referenced again at the end of the lesson to spark more interest in the overall activity we were participating in. So lastly, after the class came up with a really good list of the five senses with the candy, um, we gathered our group thoughts and we went out in the hallway to find senses um, throughout their school that they could sex successfully make a short descriptive um, experience that they had in high school. So I hope you enjoy and at the end I will talk over some other things that I may have noticed about my lesson. Thank you. I don't think you guys will need your laptops much. Um, after the lesson today you guys are going to help them work on your papers and any other work you need to done for the um, So today is National Memo Day. Um, do you guys know what a memo is? <laughs> yeah, yep, it's like a professional business letter reminder. Um, today we're going to start with a short descriptive writing activity, um, and then we're going to go venture around the school and try to write a short story. Um, so because I came in so late, I don't really know a whole lot of what you guys know about descriptive writing. So I think it would be cool to run around the room and hold each other, or mainly told me your guys' name. And then something you found interesting or liked about creative writing, something you really struggled with. So my name is Miss Nelson. Um, I like descriptive writing because it paints a picture in your head. And the thing I struggle with the most is space. Like incorporating space. Okay. I'm Austin. Uh, the thing I like most is the creative writing. Um, I like the And then the thing I struggle with is space. <coughs> I like about creative writing is kind of like how get in, like get these ideas <coughs> out of your head and then you put it in your mind. Like the thing I struggle with the most is building a talk. Yeah. Um, do you want to talk? Uh, I'm Ashley. I like that you can like, create a story of your own or like go and share it with people. And I struggle with I like how they don't really have to follow any rules all the time, whether it be like physical or just writing rules. I just struggle with the space a lot of the time. Yeah, that is hard, especially if there's no like writing prompts. I feel like that's where I struggle too. I'm Nicole. Um, I like how you can just write and express yourself, and then I struggle with editing description. Um, I don't know what I like. Just writing down your experiences, I think. Um, okay. My name is Justin, and what I liked was, like, you got the opportunity to, like, write down what you experienced in writing, and, like, it was eye-opening. But then, you know, on the flip side, 
side. That was also kind of my downfall because like sometimes like there's so many possibilities you just don't know what to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I like having an idea and then being able to create a story out of the simple idea. And then I kind of struggled with ending my story, like, because, like, I have this main topic and then I just end it. And <coughs> I'm Ava, and I live in Sweden, and I live in Sheffield, um, and I struggle with kind of that because of this. Hi, uh, I'm David, and I like great writing because <coughs> You don't have to read stuff, but if I struggle with the noises, it's just kind of keep it short. Yeah. It's like an empty record, you know, I don't know. Yeah. Or from the I was always told that papers are never finished, they're just due. So that's important to keep in mind. So I'm working on that. Um, so we're going to start today with a warm up activity with some Jolly Ranchers. And I want you guys to just think about everything in this Jolly Rancher. Um, Think of the five senses, think of the show not tell, and then we're, we'll describe it after a couple of seconds because I don't want to be on the whole thing. Are you guys like those colors? Okay. 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 Does anyone want to come up and be like a writer? I got you. Okay, you know what, Jackie? Let's fight right now in the front of the class, right here. Break everything down just to get your ideas going. So, what are some things that you guys noticed about the Jolly Rancher and its characteristics? What does it sound like? It's like the rustle of leaves. Is there any other sound? <laughs> C R I N K L Y. Um, is there any other noise that we can think of? Yeah. Like clicking, yeah, clicking, and it's like kind of speaking to you. Um, is there any other sound you guys can think of? So what's another set? No, what does it smell like? Um, any other smells? <laughs> So 
then taste was. You guys did a creative nonfiction, which was an event that happened in your guys' past, right? So today we're going to go kind of walk around the school and we're going to think about the present. And although, like, at times it can be hard to incorporate everything like this and, like, show and not tell and everything, um, I think it's really important that we focus on the now. But if there happens to be a memory that we walk past that, you know, you've been in the school for three years, around three years, like, you can incorporate that. It's not a big deal. Um, I don't think this will be really productive even the seniors because you guys are almost gone. So it's important to focus on the now and remember what's So, um, you guys want to get up and we'll go venture around? You guys will be my guide because I've never really been around this school. So, wherever you guys want to go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, we're just going to write. Short story, nothing crazy. Just a one together? No, just an individual. Well, we can do one together. I would do it, but I have to have assessment. Oh. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So, if you guys want to get a uh, paper and pencil out and uh, yeah. just write a short story. Yeah. I don't usually, are there some back yeah. there? Well, I need some paper in my place. You guys want to hear like the stories from the last class? Yeah. yeah. I walked around the school as it filled with the smell of pastries coming from the kitchen. We walked past the east window and felt a little gloomy, almost as gloomy as the weather outside. It's different walking around the school without the halls being crowded with a bunch of kids you see every day. Kids that you'll never probably see again. Yet you realize you've been a part of your, part of 
your school career for years. No one ever takes time to take in a place that's brought so many emotions and lessons to hundreds of people. Places like this have a lot of power, and it's not something you can avoid. And then this one I thought was a little bit more fun. Um, and um, after walking through the cafeteria, I recall the first time and last time I ate food here. Um, it was breakfast burrito that I ate my freshman year. I'm a big fan of breakfast, so after taking a bite of the odd-smelling brown tortilla and tasting all the cheap steamed artificial mush inside, I instantly knew that it would be my last meal from this place. Maybe I was just skimpy that morning, but I don't think I'll ever eat a worse breakfast burrito in my life. I'd almost say eating one is almost disrespecting yourself. Other than that, nothing really sparked in me. No memories came to mind when walking through the halls. I guess my most vivid memory from this place is with some nasty burrito. <laughs> So yeah, when you guys are done, just set your papers on like one of these desks up here and I'll come by and collect them. And then um, after you're done with that, you like I said, you guys can just work on any unfinished assignments, um, catch up on your paper if it's not finished. Um, welcome back. So I was debating on whether or not to take the ending of that last video out because of time restrictions, but I felt it overall incorporated some of the most challenging elements I experienced as a teacher. So first, as you could tell, I was kind of nervous, but I overall felt like I learned a lot. I was expecting to focus my teaching on the middle school classroom, but now being introduced to high school, I have a lot new outlook on what high school could hold for me as a teacher, and it makes me interested to research into it more. Um, first, I ran into an incident with another student in the hallway before my closing to this lesson, which kind of made me a little scatterbrained. I had some other things planned. We were going to discuss what was on the board, um, have an overall class discussion of things that they noticed, things they liked, things that they didn't like, to get other students' thoughts going. But I was just kind of to the point where I was drained and I just wanted to, you know, wrap up the lesson as best as I could for the students. Um, one thing I wish I would have covered, I guess, reflecting on that is just before leaving the classroom, what the expectations were for respectful behavior and just walking in the hallway. That's one mistake I made. I thought as them being high school students, they would have known what to do and what was expected, but it never hurts to go over the rules um, no matter the age. And I also do just want to make a quick note that it wasn't my students in my class that caused this disruptive behavior. It was actually another student in the hallway. So I felt as though this challenging aspect that happened, it may have interfered with the student's education and I really really regret that but as a teacher you can only do the best that you can with what you have and I felt as though this was the best I could have done. So anyways um, following the lesson um, the students informed me that they wish they could have wrote an overall big descriptive story together to encompass elements within their high school and the experiences they had but I informed them that I needed individual assessments and they were perfectly okay with that. I really enjoyed the interaction I got with the students, just having that moment to walk around the school. I gained a lot of valuable information and I felt as though with a little time I was in the classroom, it helped establish some relationships with students and they informed me on things that, you know, is really valuable as a teacher moving into that grade level. Um, when talking about the assessment at the end, they were expected to write a short descriptive um, story about their experiences and their senses and everything they took in um, walking around the high school. Um, overall, I felt as though the majority of the students performed at a proficient, le proficient level and incorporated the five senses that they were expected to use. Um, overall, I felt as though this lesson, it did have its flaws and um, I wish I could have done some things different to improve the quality and the students um, overall um, experience with it. But I felt as though I tried my best and I achieved an overall successful lesson for my first time performing in front of a high school classroom. My, less, my nerves did get in the ways at some points, but I think that's all part of the learning opportunity and becoming a student and becoming a teacher and gaining all these valuable tools that'll help me become the best teacher I can be one day. But thank you for listening and I can't wait to see where my next lesson and where my future endeavors take me as a teacher. Bye.